Hi everyone, today at Crafty Beans we are going to be making some of these lovely paper flowers. Really quite simple to make and they look really effective. So you can put them in a glass or in a little pot like this as a vase or you could even make a little bunch of them and tie them together and make them into a bunch of flowers for somebody. So what you're going to need are some cake cases. If you're lucky enough to have coloured ones like me, that's great. If not, you can always colour them in with some felt tips. The other thing you need will be a straw. And if you've got some tissue paper, you can make some tissue paper circles and some tissue paper or paper leaves to go on your flowers. But let me show you how to make them and we'll see what you think. First things first, get yourself your paper case. You're going to flatten it out. Fold it in half. Really carefully. Okay. Then you're going to fold it again. So that's number two fold. And then we're going to do another fold, so that's number three. And then we're going to do a fourth fold, so it's getting quite small now. Fourth fold, there we go. Can you see? So now you're going to need some scissors. Pick up your folded paper case. Don't cut the pointy end, because that's the middle of the flower. We don't want a hole in the middle. We're going to cut the big end. I'm going to cut it to make the petal shapes. So quite easy, just trim off, like to make it like a triangle, a bit pointy, like this. Okay, so it's got a little flower shape on the end, petal shape. So when I open it up, the magic has happened. You can see we've now got a lovely flower. Turn it back into the cake case shape a little bit. Okay, now on my ones, for the middle flowers, I actually used some tissue paper. So I drew around a glass that I had in my cupboard and cut out the circle and then I cut out another one which was a little bit smaller with a different colour. Okay, so same thing again. I'm going to fold it in half. Fold it in half again. That's two. And again, that makes three. And the last one's getting quite small now. That's four. So I've got the same shape again. Can you see I've got my pointy end, which is the middle, so don't cut that end. I'm going to trim the big end. My scissors, I'm going to make that into a little point on the end, like before. Open it up, you should have a lovely flower shape. Well done. So that's going to go there on our flower in the middle. And then the last one, I've chosen this bright orange colour. Same thing again. So what you can do is get a bit of glue, a little bit of glue in the middle, stick it in the centre, a little glue in the centre of this one, stick it into the centre. If you've got some sticky jewels like I do, you can stick one of those in the middle of your flower. got any tissue paper at home but you have got plenty of paper cases then what you could do is just use the paper cases and I'll quickly show you how. There's my big one that we made at the beginning. Okay. If, you, if you need some more get yourself another paper case, fold it up the same way, 
four times like before and this time when you cut it cut a little bit more off so this one it ends up being quite small so you cut off a little more of it okay so when you open it out it's still a paper case but it's smaller than the other one and then for your last paper case you get another paper case fold it three times four times and then this time when I cut it I'm going to cut it even shorter so there's quite a big bit left flowers that I've made so far. Both look lovely. But we are going to need a stalk. So that's when we're going to need a straw. Now there's two things you can do. One, if you've got a green permanent pen, you could colour in the straw if that works. If it's a paper one like this, that should work. If you haven't, then you might need to wrap some green tissue paper around it some green paper. Get your paper just a little bit longer than your straw. Pop some glue on it and then you're going to roll it up nice and tightly and glue all along here. Here's some I did before with different colour tissues. So once you've got your straw, it should have a slightly bigger end, a floppy end, because you made it a little bit bigger. So that bit we're going to stick onto the back of our flower. So we'll put some glue on that bit. We're going to stick that on the back of our flower. beautiful flower on its straw stalk. Last thing, if you want to, you can add a leaf. Okay, so I've cut, just cut out some leaf shapes, a bit of glue, a bit underneath. Okay, let's stick it on so that it shows up. There we are. So there we go a lovely flower with a leaf and a stalk. There's another one I could put in with my other ones. Don't they look pretty? I hope you enjoy making them and uh, they'll brighten up your room. Thanks for joining me today. See you soon. Bye.